Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. In this video, we will discuss solutions to problems in the first paper of the 2014 JE Advanced Physics question paper. Two parallel wires in the plane of paper are at a distance of not apart and there is a point charge moving with the speed u distance x1 from here. And uh, we only know that it's moving in this xy plane. Right, that's all we know. And when wires have a current of magnitude i in the same direction, radius is r1. The same direction means radius is r1, opposite means radius is r1. And that's understandable. Any time this object moves in the xy plane, the magnetic field will be in the z direction, whether positive or negative. So it will move in a circle, and we already know what the formula is mvyqv. So it's inversely proportional to b. That's the important thing. Right, the other things are independent of B. So, we are given that when they are in the same direction, the radius is R1, when they are in the opposite direction, radius is R2, and we are given the ratio of X0 by X1. So, R1 by R2 will be the same as B2 by B1. Right, that's all we need. And 2 is when they are in the opposite direction, so B2 will be, if they are in the opposite direction, both of them will have a magnetic field here in the same direction that is going inside the plane. So B2 will be u naught i by 2 pi 1 by x1 plus 1 by x naught minus x1 which is this remaining part. And B1 when they are in the same direction the current will be opposite here so it will be mu naught i by 2 pi 1 by x1 minus 1 by x naught minus x1. Right. And uh, we don't actually need to worry about the sign because radius depends on magnitude. But even if we did, you could look at x1 by x1 and see that this is the positive term. Right. The ratio of these will be uh, b2 by b1, which is the answer we are looking for r1 by r2, which will be this is x0 minus x1 uh, plus x1. So x0 by x1 times x1 minus x1 divided by x0 minus x1 minus x1. So x0 minus 2x1 by the same denominator x1 times x1 minus x1. So these denominators cancel. This is x0 by x0 minus 2x1. And we know x0 by x1 is equal to 3. So just divided by 3, we get x0 by x1, which is 3, divided by x0 by x1, which is 3, minus 2, 2 times 1 because we divided by x1 which is equal to 3, 3 by 1. So the answer to question 14 is 3. Thank you.